embarking on a new journey in a new era. Chinese modernization has become a new key world to decode China. So what new opportunities does China bring to the UK? How will the British business community expand the Chinese market? Let's listen to the views of the British business community. I think the opportunities are quite diverse. I think at the, at the Northern Powerhouse uh, Forum today, we heard from a range of companies, didn't we, across the tech sector, across medical devices, food, drink, um, even musical equipment like the jukeboxes that, um, that we heard are being sold to China. So I think it's very diverse. I'm very optimistic about the growth of the business between the UK and China because of the huge number of possibilities in the Chinese economy. They've got a huge burgeoning middle class. Uh, there's a lot of British businesses who now, post-Brexit, very much are looking to export to other parts of the world. I was in Shanghai a couple of months ago and saw for myself how the city has really, really come back to life. But if you're an investor sitting in the UK, if you haven't been to Shanghai, this sort of event where you had the, the Shanghai government, very senior officials talking very confidently and uh, positively about Shanghai's future, about their plans for the further development of Shanghai, but also re-emphasizing how important those foreign trade and investment links are to Shanghai and how important Shanghai is to foreign investors in, in China has been a really important, I think, reminder to many businesses here about the importance of Shanghai as an investment destination. I think there's lots of really good reasons why we should be positive for the future. I think we're two global cities. I think we share lots of strengths um, in sectors that are driving conversations and finding solutions to some of the big problems that we face globally right now. We heard from lots of inward investors as well. Um, so pet petroleum, I talked about Yorkshire exports to China increasing uh, the fastest rate of all the other English regions. So I think there's th there are really opportunities uh, everywhere. I think it's more about whether companies have got, um, you know, something that ch China wants. Yeah. Some, you know, the high quality, the the history, the culture. Because I think we see so much positive activity between our member companies. We have over 450 member companies. Uh, Britain has very long ties with China, going back to the icebreakers 70 years ago, and I think there are just so many, the, the, the opportunities, you just can't count them. There's a lot there, and all that British business needs to do is go out and take advantage of them. And as I said, you know, China's the second largest economy in the world, the UK is the sixth largest. It's really important that we have those deep trade and investment collaborations. Um, where, there's, where there's mutual benefit. Well, I think there are huge possibilities, partly because of the great way that the Chinese economy is expanding. It's the second largest economy in the world, and I think there is no doubt that the amount of trade between Britain and China is, is going to grow in the coming years. But I think now, uh, as I saw for myself when I was in China two months ago, China is very, very much back, uh, moving ahead very quickly. And this sort of event is a great opportunity to put back onto the business attention of those companies, to put, to put China back onto their, onto their radar, to put Shanghai back onto their radar, to reassert uh, and reinforce the importance of Shanghai and China as, as a trade and investment destination. Um, and as we heard, I think, today from all the speakers, London is an open, welcoming and diverse city. And I think we share that with Shanghai. I think the Vice Mayor was very clear on that. Shanghai is an open, welcoming and diverse city. So we share some common values there.